been stalking. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and now to this. What do? How do I? What do you have to say? You know, I don't want to say the wrong thing. So. Okay, <laughs> I mean, I really don't. I know these two boys. They're mad. They're crazy. You know, and at the same time, in all that madness and craziness and uh, you know, um, large-heartedness towards fashion, because I believe fashion is fun, and uh, Rohit and Rahul represent that, you know, in their clothes, and at the same time you get organized. How do you get organized with all that madness? You get organized. The organization is all about Rahul. He's the organizer, I'm the prankster, I'm the one who no, makes, you know. makes, makes work into fun, yeah. and he's the one who's always organized. No, but he's also fun, dude. Yeah, but... You're going to fight, huh? You're going to start fighting, yeah. Okay? Fight. No, so tell us, okay? You've been in the industry for so long. And I've seen it, you've, I think you're the fastest growing uh, brand today, you know, in this industry. And I feel really proud for both of you. And yes, uh, you guys have done fantastically well. So how do you evolve? How, what is your reflections of style? And how have you kept yourself going for so many years, motivating yourself? I think um, I think staying true to yourself. I think that's what really matters. It's been so many years. Um, this Blender's Pride is 12 years old now. We've been a part of it. I think uh, we meet people. We uh, work in art. We run an art library. We meet so many artists. We meet. Uh, we travel. So architecture, art, meeting people. It just inspires us, and you keep on doing some new things. Um, like look at you. You worn a bangla with a long T-shirt. That's the traditional style. It looks lovely on you. Thank you. You're in a naughty mood today. Am I? Yeah. How do you know that? I see. Yeah, I always look naughty. Okay, I'm a naughty guy. But um, that's my style. <laughs> that's the way you do that. Somebody should do that. That's my reflection of style, naughtiness. See, I found an answer. I actually found an answer. What's your style statement? I, I think it is just comfort, naughty, be yourself. Just be yourself and feel comfortable in the space you are in. I think that's what style is, and I think it's very personal. I think it's each to their own. I feel a person should wear, I have black all the time. I know because it's concealing a bit. But uh, otherwise yeah. I feel a bit, yeah. But I feel that, yes, I think a person should just wear what they can, and what they enjoy wearing, and what they're comfortable in. Making too much of an effort, going too crazy about, and too uh, stressed about what you're going to wear. I don't think, I think you should just be comfortable and be happy in what you wear. Okay, great. So, um, I think that's it from our panel. We've spoken to everybody. Anybody needs to contribute to anything else? Gaurav. Anybody wants to ask? Gaurav. Ah, Gaurav. Gaurav, Gaurav. Would you talk about Pringy Banata? So, what's Gane Banata? So, um, style. Yeah, I mean, the most stylish people are musicians, okay? And um, when you create your music, okay, and electronica, I mean, it's now become really big, but I've known you for many as well, and the medieval pundits are like iconic people. And um, it was tough to get and educate people first, you know, and you have a distinct style in your music, of course. So um, where does that come from? What's the motivation? Um, well, I think you can do Blender's Pride fashion tour with these designers, with you mixing for them. Do you do something different? Uh, well, um, I think this, my style is obviously related to my music and uh, that's about my life and my experiences. And, uh, you know, growing up in India, with, with Indian, in an Indian family, and going, growing up in clubs at the same time and then putting it all together, mixing electronica with uh, traditional music and all sorts of things. Uh, that's pretty much what medieval pundits has always been about. Like, just how you experience growing up in India in this generation. Uh, when coming together with these guys, uh, I've been in the fashion industry for a while, doing music for fashion shows and uh, that's apart from medieval pundits. So that's how I've known these people for so long and uh, I love them. And when Blender's Price uh, Fashion Tour started, uh, I thought that uh, it's a good time to get live music back into the scene. So 
So we have live musicians on stage for each of these shows. And I put together interesting mixes uh, of uh, a producer from a different genre, a singer from a different genre, mixed with a couple of uh, live musicians. And, and um, I try and uh, curate uh, the show, the music of the show itself, in terms of energy, in terms of vocals. So you do that live? It's all going live. Uh, well, there's rehearsals before. So the musicians are live, yes. So there's guitars, there's drums, there's a laptop, there's uh, singers. And uh, in some cases, there are some surprise elements, which, I, which will just happen later, and we'll announce them later. But yeah, so it's a whole stage full of live musicians. And it's rehearsed, or do you get kind of spontaneous somewhere? Well, um, we have discussions with them before, so we decide on the flavors. But I, uh, like right now, I don't really know what each of them is doing, but I have a fairly good idea of what space it will be in. Western, Indian, slash, edgy, dark, whatever. And so on the basis of that, I've created the bands, and then we get into a more in-depth discussion about music, and then take it from there. Wonderful. So now, come on, before we go, I want to ask each one of you, Rajesh Mutha, tell me, on this panel, who do you think is the most childish? Not me, no? I'm out of this. The most stylish is that one person. Pathetic. For me, it's not right No, 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 he's out of it too. And then from the designers. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, you're designers, man. I want to have some so fun here. One person, they're all different styles. So, um, all of them have really individual looks, I would say. And that's something you're favorite. Favorite. Your favorite. Come on, pick one. Quickly, come on. Impossible. <laughs> come on, you gotta be a spot. One. So, so there was this guy um, who was my roommate at Nif. He was a hard <laughs> What about your name again? Yeah, yeah. And now he started talking about it. <laughs> and a uh, horrible guy. Um, but the most honest guy I've met in design. And um, so I, I guess it'd be him. Just because I love him so much. And, you know, your family, so I would be him. He's on this panel? Okay, great. Uh, oh, that's you. Okay. <laughs> okay, go for it, Prasad. Your favorite? Oh, really? Uh, on this panel. I'm Anish. I mean, oh. I've, I've grown up on his style, so. Okay. Yeah. Manish. I would say that just because he doesn't care about style. <laughs> <laughs> because he doesn't care. <laughs> That's why he's he just he plays his dresses the way he wants. Okay, come on, bro. Hundred percent Irish, for sure. The, the coolest and the most chilled out. Rowan. If I don't say Rohit, you kill me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Rohit, come on. Yeah. I would say Manish. Okay. Manisha. I didn't want to be here. Me also. <laughs> no, I'm talking about style, right? I never copy you. And Shah. It's me. <laughs> For me, it's Masala. Masala? Great, thank you. I do hope uh, you guys had a good time and uh, what? Take a picture and we should get out of here? What? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Can we have the stage please to take a photo of? Can we have all the talent on stage? All the models, all the muses? with all the talent and their muses. Blender's Pride Fashion Tour 2016.
Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome to have a Q&A with all these wonderful people on stage after the photo op. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you guys have to sit around here. Do you all stay here? The press would like to definitely know more about this side. 